Struggling to survive, Zimbabwe's once lucrative automotive industry is being strangled by the competition. The recent trend in importing cheap secondhand cars from Japan has local vehicle distributors panicked. Zimbabwe has been working hard to rebuild its economy since a unity government ended its decade long recession in 2009. This economic progress was slowed by the then upcoming presidential elections. In July of this year, President Robert Mugabe was re elected. The process, viewed as a success, had local automotive dealers prepared for the return of business. But this turned out not to be the case. This is not good at the moment, and um, things uh, started being quite slow just before elections. And um, even now, after elections, we were expecting that things would be at least in a better position after elections, when at least people know what they want to do and um, they could plan. But now, it's like things are getting worse and worse. In the 1990s, Zimbabwe's auto industry employed an estimated 200,000 people. But now officials say the number is less than 2,000. With this decline in one of the country's major industries, Zimbabweans are calling on the government to intervene. If you look at the current trends in the automobile industry, you realize that uh, the Japanese uh, market, the auto car industry of Japan, is slowly but surely getting to become an area where they are considering Zimbabwe as one of their dumping grounds. Uh, so their products knowing quite very well that not less than 90% of cars which are bought or which are changing hands are generally second-hand vehicles in Zimbabwe. Economic analysis Christopher Mugaga says the importation of Japanese vehicles is harming the local auto industry, saying the government needs to put measures in place to regulate the industry. Secondhand or not, more and more Zimbabweans are favoring imported vehicles over locally manufactured options. While industry officials report that more than $200 million worth of cars were imported in the first five months of 2012. These are cars which are far better than cars from our local industry or from South Africa or from Europe. Cars from Japan are far better than all these other, other cars from other countries. The influx of second-hand imported cars to the country has already forced Zimbabwe's Mazda plant to close. Despite this, high-end dealers say given the country's growing middle class, there will always be a market for new, locally sold, high-end vehicles. G2 Abraham, CCTV.